Welcome back everyone guys, this is Daniel and today we have a special video to speak about the upcoming balance uh, that we will have on 18 of October. Today Blizzard has announced uh, the new nerf we have got. We have three cards nerfed. Two of them has been killed by Blizzard unfortunately. One of them is for wild format only and I think it's still uh, playable. But the other two, we are speaking about Jiggling Inventor and Mana Wyrm. We won't see that anymore in play most of the time. Let's start speaking about uh, the biggest nerf we had. Uh, it's the one of the Jiggling Inventor. Before of the nerf, we had a neutral minion with mana cost 5, uh, 2 1, uh, Battle Cry Summon to 1 2 max with Taunt and Divine Shield. Now, after the nerf, we will have a 7 mana neutral minion. So we have a big loss in terms of tempo. We cannot play the Jiggling Inventor anymore on turn 4 or 5, and that's really important against some um, matchups, some aggro decks. With this nerf, we have to think not only the Jiggling Inventor has been nerfed and probably killed because we will go from a 40% deck running one or two copies of the Jiggling Inventor to about 0% more or less because it's too slow right now a 2-1 that summon uh, to taunt is still good but it's very slow even in a control uh, meta this has no play because uh, when you play against control uh, mostly you don't want uh, to play at 7 mana the jiggling inventor the card is good against aggro but against aggro having 7 mana jiggling inventor is not good at all so I don't think you gonna have any play at all of this card after the nerf so let's say goodbye to jiggling inventor and thinking of not only the jiggling inventor has been nerfed but also cards like uh, the shaman death knight trial death lord has been nerfed because now when you evolve a five drop you can get a jiggling inventor a 2-1 maybe getting a 4-4 um, into 2-1 or maybe getting a 6 drop with the hero power into 2-1 is not good. So a stable evolution as well, it's a card nerfed by this nerf. And same is for the Spiteful Summoner in some deck that runs uh, the Spiteful Summoner with uh, a 7 uh, mana spell. Uh, there's not any that comes to my mind, but still, if it's happening, you can get the Jiggling Inventor and that's definitely a nerf also for the Spiteful Summoner. We also had other two cards nerf, another one for standard is the Mana Wyrm, one of the classic cards we had from the beta. Uh, it is a very powerful card, a one drop mage minion with attack 1 and free health. It was really powerful and we saw that card played in all the tempo mages. Now with this nerf, I don't think it will have a lot of play because uh, it is a still a 1 free with the same effect, but now it goes from 1 mana to 2 mana. And the very good thing about this card was uh, its cost because Tempo Mage want to do this on turn 1, maybe conning the second one also on the same turn, and then go with Primordial Grief or a lot of uh, cheap spells to buff it and go face to deal. Uh, lot of damage to our opponent. That is purpose of the card. Having the mana Wyrm a 2 drop is a big nerf for it. Mana Wyrm can be a 2 drop, 1 free, still good. I mean it's, it's still good as a 2 drop. But on turn 3 we want to play the Kirin Tor mage or maybe coining out uh, the Cosmic Anomaly or uh, playing a secret, so on turn 3 we will attack with a 2-3, it's not the same as having a mana wyrm on turn 1, then coining uh, a secret, uh, having a 3-3 free free on the board on turn 2, attacking, so it's a big loss of tempo for uh, tempo mage, and I don't think it's uh, gonna see play for that reason. Control mage doesn't want to run mana wyrm at all, because uh, it has a lot of big spells, so no chip spells means mana wyrm will stay as a 1-3 and that's not good for uh, 
for big spell mage, for control mage. So mana weir, it has a cross on it. I don't think it's gonna see play at all. And I think we have to greet him. I think we won't see it, it anymore. The last but not least change is for wild format only. And we are speaking about Aviana. Aviana was uh, a druid card, 9 drop, 5-5, five, five, uh, with the effect of uh, making our minion cost only 1 mana. It is a really powerful effect and uh, it does see a lot of playing wild because uh, there is a good combo, a good interaction between uh, Aviana and Kuhn. And druid basically having his win condition in Aviana, Kuhn and going crazy on the same turn doing uh, so many combos. Last but not least was the one with Star Aligner doing 28 damage to the opponent's board and face. So it was uh, completely crazy and I think this is the only good nerf we got. You still can do the combo but now you need an Innervate or a coin to do it. Now you have to play Aviana for 10 mana, then coin or Innervate, play Kuhn and then going crazy again. But still you need one card more and also this is a very good balance because uh, Juicy Psychomelon doesn't give you both the draws Aviana and Kuhn. It gives you only one because uh, both now are costing 10 mana and so you can draw only one of them. I think this is a very good balance, very good nerf because uh, wild format needs some changes. And I think a lot of uh, wild players uh, will agree with that uh, and we will be happy about this. Uh, my final thoughts are for the cards that not been nerfed in this uh, upcoming balance. I'm thinking about uh, the Ultimate Infestation or Spreading Plague that are two cards that uh, we were supposed to see another nerf for. Uh, maybe not the Spreading Plague because still is powerful but it's a defensive defensive tool for uh, uh, for druid but ultimate infestation i think it's the most popular card in druid decks it is the strongest card in druid right now in the meta in airston so it does too many things it gives you tempo on the board it is a removal it is a card draw it is a, a life gain it do too many things and Blizzard told us for many, many times that wants all the classes to have, do specific things. Having a card that do all of them, I think is not good. And I expected this card to be balanced, not maybe nerfed too much, but even doing just the uh, free as effect. So summoning a free free, drawing free cards, dealing free damage, and gaining free armor still do a lot of things but at least it's more balanced as a card the other card i expected to be nerfed was prince kelezet because drawing prince kelezet right now give you a burst in your win rate of about 20 percent and uh, giving you a burst of this rate at turn two just seeing one card i think it's too much I think Blizzard needs to change the concept of this card, maybe just giving plus one attack instead of plus one plus one, even that one will be a good balance for this card because uh, at least removal works on uh, most of the cards you still have in the deck. I generally think this nerfed, this balance is bad from uh, what I expected to be from Blizzard, I don't like it, it kills one card that is good against uh, aggro it kills uh, one card for tempo that wasn't so played because tempo mage it's like the five percent of the meta right now and uh, maybe the good balance was just uh, having the mana worm with two elf so most of the removal still does it but right now mana worm cannot be played anymore so I don't like the nerf to Jiggly Inventor, I don't like the nerf to Mana Wyrm, I like the nerf to Aviana as I said, but I don't like most of the card that doesn't get nerfed like Prince Skelezet, Ultimate Infestation or more cards. 
guys let me know what you think about the nerf uh, right here in the comment if you expected uh, other nerfs to happen and if you're happy about the one we got in this uh, up the upcoming balance of the 18th of uh, October we'll see tomorrow with uh, the new video and uh, guys I just want to remind for the one of you that hasn't done it yet that you can subscribe our channel finding the link down in the description see you guys tomorrow